Sorry, I just choked on my own throat then. Right, let's start again, shall we? Hello and welcome to another one of my videos. Yes, today we are going to be playing The Sims 2. The best game in the entire world. Yes, that's happening. And until EA decide to put The Sims 2 Ultimate Collection back on Origin, I will remain fuming. <laughs> Oh my god, it's me, it's absolutely stunning. Yes, that's happening. Yeah! Welcome, welcome, welcome to the, the Juno Show. Welcome to the, the Juno Show. Welcome to the, the Juno Show. Welcome to the Juno Show. Welcome to the Juno Show. Yes, that's happening. Yes, everybody, we are returning to Pleasant View, the absolutely iconic place, which has trees and grass instead of desert like Strange Hand. Last time you seen me do the, 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 the spa with the calientes. But today, everybody, it is time for goths. Right, we have arrived and pause. Pause. This, everybody, is Cassandra Goth who has been through so much in her life. Yes, she has. She was famously turned down at the altar by Don Lothario, and she was turned into a vampire when she went out on a night out in, 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 in downtown. And then her father got stolen by Dina Caliente, who stole the goth fortune, and Cassandra Goth has been left with no option but to open her own business, the goth shop. This is Cassandra Goth's gorgeous goth shop. It is absolutely gorgeous, and it is, um, I have modelled it after a lovely um, mausoleum. Yes, a mausoleum. And we have a lovely graveyard on the front here. You can buy some lovely um, gravestones if you would like to. And we have a blow-up pumpkin on the lawn because it is always Halloween in Cassandra Goth's goth shop. I had to change Cassandra Goth back into a human because she was a vampire and she would not stay in the shop for more than five minutes if the, if the sun was out. This is the absolutely gorgeous goth shop. And yes, we have lovely staff members who are all goths. We have, of course, we have hired a goth Joy Desperate. Yes, she was originally a Joy Desperate, but then we turned her into a goth Joy Desperate. Do I smell an origin story of the goth Joy Desperate? Yes, I do. Also, this is Death Star employee. She also works on the till, and she is an absolutely Metalhead. Yes, she is. Um, also, she is a vampire, so when the sun comes out, she just scarves off work and runs away. This is Angry Birds 2. Oh my god, why is he morphing it? Okay, he's currently spooning Cassandra Goth while she's playing. Okay, this is looking a bit sexual. Oh my god! <laughs> Oh my god, Angry Birds 2, stop that now! This is Bat's employee, and he is also absolutely gorgeous. And he needs to get restocking these candles because they're all out of stock. Oh my god, pause! Wait, pause, people. Kristen Singles has already arrived to the Cassandra Goth goth shop. Um, we need to give her a goth makeover immediately. So this is Cassandra Goth's little dungeon, and um, she offers free makeovers to, to customers to turn them into goths. Yes, she does. Let's make some money, because Dina Caliente has decided to steal the goth fortune, and we need to make it back in goth earnings. Right, so we're going to give the icon, Kristen Singles, a goth makeover. Yes, that's happening. Right, come on, Kristen, sit in the chair, Queen. We are going to turn you into a gorgeous goth. I don't know whether Cassandra has any skills, so this might go wrong. Oops. Okay. Oh, my God! Pause! In singles, what has happened to you, my queen? Oh my god, she's absolutely fuming. Oh my god, she hates it. She looks even more like Predator now. Right, we have turned Kristen Singles into an absolutely gorgeous goth punk. Yes, that's happening. Who is this absolutely gorgeous man in this kilt that has arrived? His name is Brandon Lillard, and he is looking at the games. Yes, I assure you that The Sims Busting Out is an absolutely gorgeous game. Tiger Parker has arrived. Tiger Parker always turns up to my businesses. He is such a good support. He loves supporting small businesses. That's what we like to see. We love to see it. Also, who is this absolutely gorgeous queen who has arrived? Can we just take a moment to appreciate her gorgeous boots? Trina the Mina. Absolutely gorgeous. I have decided to create a punishment for the employees in case they start skiving off work and running away. We actually throw them down this hole if they misbehave. Yes, the never-ending hole from where the Joy Desperates first came out. Now, Angry Birds 2 is a very, very shy person. Yes, he is. He's very, very shy. Um, so he has trouble um, interacting with the customers, so we just let him do the restocking instead. 
Oh, also, this is our absolutely gorgeous basement, which Kristen Singles is currently residing in. And um, she is considering buying this absolutely gorgeous skull ensemble. And also, considering the fact that Cassandra Goth used to be a vampire, her coffin is now for sale. Yes, that's happening. Um, she does not need it anymore because she is not allergic to the sunshine. I'm considering deleting this arcade game because Cassandra Goth is just so distracted by it. Wait, the sun is coming out, people. I've got a feeling that Death Star employee is going to run away. Wait, why is Goth Joy Desperate not doing anything? You're supposed to be on the tail, bitch. Yes, Goth Joy Desperate decided to shave off her eyebrows. Oh, she's looking right at me. Oh my God. Um, Death Star employee is actually really suffering right now. Girl, that is not your foundation color. And why is your head shaking like that? The sunshine has turned a Death Star employee into a stone cold bitch. The customers are getting really angry. Oh my god, she's burning in the sunlight. I think, oh my god, she's running home. Wait, pause, we need to stop her. I will not have my vampire employees running away from the goth shop. We are going to imprison you, bitch. Yes, that's happening. Right, you are going to be imprisoned. We have imprisoned her in a cage in the front lawn. Yes, that's happening. Right. off as a bat. Oh my god, I'm not having that. That's absolutely disgusting. Right, can we delete this fence now? Because it's very ugly. Deleting the fence. Deleting the fence. Yes. Also, do you love my hair today? It's really gorgeous, isn't it? I think the customers are getting really angry now. Where is he going? Excuse me, this is staff only. Pause. Can we just take a moment to appreciate this new Kristen Singles face? <laughs> Right, yes. Okay, Cassandra Goth is now serving Kristen Singles at the till. Thank you for your, um, for your, for letting us give you a makeover, Kristen. Kristen Singles is currently getting very annoyed because there is currently no lobster thermidors to snatch. Oh my god, pause! Absolute icon has arrived! Absolute icon has arrived! Pause! Now this, everybody, is such an icon. So I... I have created a town, a custom world. Yes, I know, what have I been doing with my time? This is called Alan the Ogre, and he's absolutely stunning, and he is the guy that owns the Joy Desperate prison. So, if Joy Desperate needs to be imprisoned in Pleasant View, this is the person to do it. And he doesn't need a makeover because he's absolutely stunning the way that he is. Hello, Alan the Ogre. Can we interest you in an absolutely stunning inflatable pumpkin? May we help you? May I help you? Can we help you, sir? Can we interest you in an absolutely stunning makeover? Would you like like to be turned into a goth? Please sit in the chair, my darling. We are going to gothify you. This is happening. I hope it works. Right, it's working. It's working, people. We can finally give them a makeover. Cassandra Goth has earned her badge in styling. Actually, should we just give him a pumpkin head? I think we should give him an evil pumpkin head. That is happening. Do you love your new pumpkin head? Is it absolutely stunning? Oh, he loves it. He absolutely loves it. Yes, he does. Goth Joy Desperate keeps talking to all of the customers and not doing her work, so we're going to lock her in the basement. Get into the goth basement, goth joy desperate, immediately. Okay, everybody, so, um, our, you know our lovely goth basement that we had? It is no longer a goth basement. It is now an incinerator, and goth joy desperate is currently being burned to crisp for not doing her job properly. Okay, the Grim Reaper has arrived. Can we please, um, can we please hire the Grim Reaper in the goth shop? I think he would be um, a star employee. Okay, wait. Oh, shit, there's still a fire going on. Um, is that gonna go out by itself? Because there's no way of us getting into the basement. Wait, the coffin just opened? Oh no, the pumpkin guy is being incinerated. Right, we are currently roasting the pumpkin guy. And we are serving roasted pumpkin in our goth shop. Yes, it's happening. Absolutely gorgeous. I've never had roasted pumpkin before. Is it nice? Um, the Grim Reaper is back and he is coming to claim the pumpkin man. Um, and also order some roasted pumpkin. Yes, it's happening. Everybody go back upstairs and mind your own bloody business. Oh my god, the fire won't go out. I don't know why. <laughs> Come on, everybody out. Everybody out. Too many people have died. Oh my god, Chester Geek fancies Cassandra Goth. Oh my god, an actual Joy Desperate has arrived. Quick, fall in the pit, fall in the pit, fall in the pit. I really, really just want to push this Joy Desperate into this hole, but unfortunately, we can't. Cassandra Goth is absolutely starving hungry. We need to get her home now, because I actually forgot to build any kind of food. Goodbye, Bats employee. It is time for Cassandra Goth to go home. Look at all the social bunnies. Right, we have arrived. <laughs> Oh, I think my balls just dropped then. Just kidding, I haven't got any. Anyway. <laughs> right, pause. We have arrived home. We have arrived home, finally. So, 
Um, as you all know, Mortimer Goth, Cassandra Goth's father, um, was stolen away by Dina Caliente, and Cassandra Goth got left alone in the house with Alexander Goth, the younger little boy. Um, he has gone off to university. The love of Cassandra Goth's life is Darren Dreamer, the absolutely stunning queen. He is absolutely gorgeous and he is an artist, yes. He was the best man for Cassandra Goth to marry because Don Lothario is an absolute prick. Um, and he and Cassandra has had a little um, child with Darren Dreamer. This, everybody, is Gretel Goth. And she is so talented, she's very creative, and she's absolutely gorgeous at piano. As you can see, she's inherited Cassandra Goth's hair. Cassandra actually had loads of children, but I wasn't playing with Max motives. I was I was playing without the cheats. And um, one of the children got really hungry and unfortunately um, got taken away by the social worker. So we no longer have any babies in the house. But the only child that is left is Gretel Goth. And she is named after the absolutely stunning Gretel Goth, who is the ghost in the graveyard. I think it's Mortimer Goth's mum or nana, I can't remember. They love each other so very much, yes they do. And also, when Darren Dreamer, mo Dreamer moved in, um, he aged up, so he's quite old now. What's absolutely gorgeous is the loft in the um, goth household. I have renovated it into an absolutely stunning Darren Dreamer studio. He even painted this absolutely stunning portrait of Cassandra Goth. Isn't that absolutely stunning? Right, Cassandra Goth wants to have another child, so I think we are going to have, going to try for another baby. Can you hear the absolutely amazing sounds of Gretel Goth on the piano? I wonder what she's like on the drums. Can we just, can we quickly just get the drums out? Gretel Goth is going to show us some absolutely stunning drumming. Right, okay, that's enough of that racket. Stop it now, Queen. Right, we're going to try for a baby, people. They are trying for a baby. Yes, that's happening. Oh my goodness me. <laughs> Is Cassandra Goth a child? Yes! The Goth family are now currently playing poker in the, um, the spare room and uh, they're having an absolutely gorgeous time. Also, look at this jellyfish lamp. Isn't that absolutely stunning? flab dab 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 Gretel, get out of the pool, please. We need to go and get you an absolutely gorgeous new outfit. I just really want them to make The Sims 5 as The Sims 2. Just remaster The Sims 2. I hope you liked my jaw dance. Right, we have arrived. We have arrived to this absolutely... Can we turn on all the lights, please? Oh, beautiful. Oh my god, wait, pause. Also, um, the Broke family. If you play The Sims 2, then you'll know the Broke family. This is the little toddler has now grown into a teenager. Maybe we should make Bo Broke and um, Gretel Goth in love. Oh my god, we need to introduce ourselves now. Also, I don't know whether you can see the world around you, but this is actually part of Wendyland. Can you see? And there's also this absolutely gorgeous building I um, built in background. And also over here, people, there is Joy Desperates living in the town. So we need to burn those houses down immediately. Yes, we do. Talk to Bo Broke. That's your new boyfriend. Oh my god, people! Pause! Giant baby Susie has arrived <laughs> and she's decided to look for some new dresses. <laughs> I can't cope with this giant baby, honestly. It terrifies me every time it pops onto the screen. <laughs> right, giant baby Susie is currently, look at those massive hands. <gasps> Can we introduce ourselves? <laughs> Wait, pause. Joy Desperate is currently eyeing up Giant Baby Susie and she's really jealous of the attention that Giant Baby Susie is getting. I think Joy Desperate and Giant Baby Susie are going to get into a fight. Like, that is your future husband. Introduce yourself now. Oh my god, who is this horrible bitch and why has she copied my hair? Cheryl Harris. Remove that hair immediately. This is our hair. Gretel Goth and Bo Broke are currently hitting it off like a Joy Desperate house on fire. Um, a Giant Baby Susie is still um, critiquing all of the clothes in the shop. <gasps> Joy Desperate is, I think Joy Desperate wants to talk to Giant Baby Susie. And she's thinking about Giant Baby Susie. Oh my god, there's some, there, there, there's some kind of, sorry. I need to stop. <laughs> 
I think there is some kind of storyline between Joy Desperate and Giant Baby Susie. I don't know what it is, but I think something has happened, as that's why they hate each other. Gretel Goth is going to wolf whistle. Bo broke. Right, we're going to throw our drink on Giant Baby Susie. Giant Baby Susie, this is what you get. Okay, Giant Baby Susie now hates us. Right, take your new clothes, Queen, to the cashier desk, and we're going to pay for our clothes. Yes. Yes, this dress is from H&M. Pause. Look at Gretel Goth's absolutely stunning new outfit. Yes, she is wearing a Sims 3 t-shirt. <laughs> she is plugging the Sims 3 because she loves it so much, and she hates the Sims 4, don't you, Gretel Goth? Right, we have arrived home, everybody, and Cassandra Goth and Darren Dreamer are still playing poker. Pause. I think I'm going to leave this video here. I hope you enjoyed watching Cassandra Goth's absolutely stunning goth shop and Gretel Goth, her absolutely stunning daughter, having a lovely new Sims 3 top makeover. Um, <coughs> I, uh, my asthma is absolutely going crazy right now because I've been talking for so long. So I'm going to end this video here. I hope you enjoyed watching this absolutely gorgeous Sims 2 video. And I shall see you next time. Goodbye!